Hi, I'm Bill. I'm here with Tony to talk about UCS hey, Mini. Bill. Tony, what is UCS Mini? So UCS Mini is a new solution that we've just announced that's going to be used for small and medium businesses, for remote and branch offices, uh, in the same way that UCS can, but really sized for their market. When you say size for the market, do you mean what sort of scale we're we talking about here? So the full UCS system, that goes all the way out to 160 servers. And that's probably a little large for a small medium business or for a retail organization or a healthcare organization. So what we do with UCS Mini is that we scaled it down to around 8 to 15 servers. And you can start smaller than that as well. So it's much more sized towards what that kind of customer would actually be able to use in their environment. So what makes up UCS Mini? So there's three main components to UCS Mini. There's the blades, and it's the same blades that we use in our standard UCS chassis, the B200 M3. There's the chassis, and it's the same chassis that we use for UCS as well. The really unique thing and the different thing about UCS Mini is that we use the 6324 Fabric Interconnect, which is the new product that I'm holding here. Now this new product, what we had to do to develop this new product was we had to take what was in the 6248s, consolidate that down into a single ASIC, add some Intel processing capability, add some memory capability and some storage and then fit that into the form factor that goes into the back of the chassis. So where the FEX used to be? Yeah, exactly. The 2204, the 2208 FEXs, you, the physical form factor is identical. It fits in that bay. So basically all the power of a top of rack switch, but now embedded in the chassis. Exactly. It's all, the, all that power now in the chassis, plus you get UCS Manager as well. Okay, so UCS Manager is our award-winning server management tool. It allows you to do all these creative things like service profiles, repeat uh, uh, for every server. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do things individually and all that's in here as well? Yep, absolutely all of that is in there, including the XML API, which has always been the core of UCS Manager. And what that XML API allows us to do is integrate with upstream management applications like uh, UCS Central, like UCS Director, plus a whole bunch of third-party applications so that you can manage your external systems if either you're a small, medium business or if you're in remote or branch, you can manage all those systems in those branches exactly the same way that you can your UCS systems in your data center. Wow, really it sounds like we're extending the value proposition of UCS just down at a little smaller server count. What about the UCS E-Series? Didn't we have a small branch office product before? Yeah, we do. We do have a UCS E-Series, and that's a really nice product as well. But where UCS E-Series fits is really an even smaller scale than UCS Mini. If you have a small retail store, for example, in a gas station, that would be ideal for UCS E-Series. But um, if, you ha if that starts to scale up and you start to move into a larger superstore, type environment, then that kind of environment is ideal for UCS Mini, and of course you have the full UCS system that scales all the way up into the data center. Alright, so you said there were B200 M3s, there was the chassis and the new 6324 Fabric Interconnect as the main components. What else is there that can be used with Mini? So we have UCS Central. Um, UCS Central is our management tool that allows us to manage multiple UCS domains. Now previously that was very large scale customers with possibly hundreds and thousands of servers, but now with UCS Mini, if you have UCS Central, you can manage multiple branches all from that single console. What about other types of servers or storage? So other types of servers, one of the things that we can do is we can connect rack mount servers to this. So for example, if you like uh, extra storage, we have the C240, you could, that's a very storage capable um, server. We can connect those to this system. Is that what these connectors are for? For the storage blade, no, that goes into the chassis, but for the rack mount servers, yes, these, these connectors allow us to connect up to the uh, rack based servers. On either side, as you can see, this is a fabric interconnect, so we have management, we have uh, Ethernet management, and we have serial management. We also have the four SFP ports here. Those actually allow us to connect up to one gigabit, 10 gigabit, and fiber channel as well. These are actually SFP plus ports. And then we have the QSFP plus port that allows us to break out to another four 10 gigabit connections. And that's how we get that maximum of 15 servers, eight blades, 
Obviously one of these SFP Plus is reserved for uplink. We then get three rack mount servers and another four rack mount servers connected to the QSFP Plus. So it sounds like Cisco is the only company that has a small medium branch type solution that not only includes blade servers, but rack servers. Yeah, and that's one of our unique selling points. It always has been with UCS that we can manage blades and racks from the same management interface. And we can do that here with UCS Mini as well. So for the absolute smallest scale, we have UCS E-Series. We have our award-winning uh, B-Series blades at scale and C-Series uh, rack servers at scale for the data center. Mm -hmm. And now we have a product that looks like it fits right in between those two. So customers who want to start small and grow into a bigger UCS instance can do that with UCS Mini. Yeah, and no, that's exactly the positioning of UCS Mini. It's really aimed at those small, medium businesses, those growing small, medium businesses, and for those customers who have remote and branch offices or unique applications that require their own dedicated hardware. Wow, that's pretty fantastic. So what should customers do if they want to learn more about UCS Mini? If they want to learn more about UCS Mini, they can contact their Cisco account manager, they can contact their partner, or they can have a look on cisco.com. We've got lots of product information available there. Thanks, Tony, for your time today. Thank you, Bill.